Hi, in this video, we are starting chapter zero, the foundations of geometry. This chapter is really important because it's going to introduce you to how to name and describe various types of geometric figures. The unit goal is I can describe, name, and identify points, lines, planes, segments, and rays, and use their properties to find missing measures. In this lesson, lesson 0 0.1, we're going to be answering the essential question, how do you describe and name points, lines, and planes? This first lesson, lesson 0 0.1, is on points, lines, and planes. Again, the essential question that we're going to answer is how do you describe and name points, lines, and planes? There is a lot of vocabulary in this lesson and throughout this chapter, so feel free to pause the video to make sure that you get everything written down. Let's start with our first vocab. What is a point? The definition of a point is a location. In a picture, a point is going to be denoted with a dot and a capital letter by that dot. So if this was my picture, I would call this point A, or you can just say capital A. A line is a series of points that extends in two opposite directions and never ends. So it might look something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and put two points on my line. So let's call this point C and point D. And another way to illustrate a line is just by a single lowercase letter. So I'm going to put a lowercase m here. All right, so the two different ways that you can name a line are with two capital letters and a line with arrows above it. So this line right here, we could call line CD. And when you denote a line, you put that little arrow above it. You could also uh, switch the order of the letters and call it line DC. Those are the same thing. The second way to name a line is just by a lowercase letter. Most of the time in diagrams, they're gonna be um, italicized. So here we would say, this is line. So you actually say the word line and then you say that lowercase letter. So we would call this line here, line M. The next word is plane. A plane is defined as a flat surface that has no thickness. In a picture, a plane is going to look like this. So there I drew a plane and I also added three points on my plane, point A, point B, and point C. Sometimes planes are also named with a single capital letter, and that single capital letter will be drawn in one of the corners. So there's four corners to our plane. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this corner here, and that will be a capital letter. So when it comes to naming a plane, there's two different ways you can do that. The first is a plane and one capital letter, and that capital letter needs to be one of the corners of the um, plane. So I would not want to use plane A because A is a point. You need to pick the one that doesn't have the dot by it. So here it would be plane X. The second way to name the plane is the word plane and three non-collinear points. So you can see I have a point A, a point B, and a point C. So I'm going to just go plane A, B, C. And you could put those three points in any order that you want to. The next word that we're going to define here is collinear. And points are collinear when they lie on the same line. One good way to remember this definition is the word co actually just is a prefix that means same. So collinear are points that lie on the same line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here. And I am going to place three points on my line. Let's call the points H, A, and T. So we could say that H, A, and T are collinear. So there are three points that are on the same line. The second word is coplanar, and if we use that same idea, you can probably guess what coplanar means. Remember, co is same, and planar is a plane. So coplanar are two or more points or lines that lie on the same plane. So two plus points or lines that lie on the same plane. For your picture, let's go ahead and draw a plane. 
and I'm going to go ahead and draw a line that goes through the plane. To do that, what you can do is you can make a point, then go up from that, and then draw a dotted line to show where it's going through the plane, and then continue it out on the other side. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some points to my picture here. Let's say this point here is point D. Uh, let's say there is a C, an A, and this point over here is T. So we can see that the three points, because two or more points, so I'm gonna go with these three, points C, A, and T are coplanar because they're on the same plane. Notice point D is on this line that goes through the plane. It is in a different plane. So add to your um, description here that D is not coplanar with the other three points. It is in a different plane 